I am I'm making a new plan Rearranging my life and I won't look back ever I'm Jared Lowski with Oakview Egg Been doing this business for about 20 years Haul manure, incorporating it, stirring, pumping Okay, tell me a little bit about that business So how do you get started in that business And then uh, what's your radius and how far, you know What's your... How, what, what is this? <laughs> well, we, we apply anywhere from anything that's liquid. So we've done human manure, any hog manure, cow manure, uh, pig manure, yeah. all sorts of type of anything that's liquid, we haul it. Water, we haul it. Uh, we started off with a couple straight trucks, hauling from barn to barn, and then we just grew into a tractor, make things a little more simplified, and just kept on growing from there. We pumped close to about 30 million gallons a year. And then try to make every customer we have a little happy about how we do our services. So, so uh, tell me about the rig that you have here. This is a brand new James Way or Val Metal now. They changed it from James Way to Val Metal. It's a 7,400 gallon uh, manure wagon. It's got a seven row on 30 inch rows. They call it semi till incorporators. We can also do splash pan on the back of them too. We okay. can download from tankers with it also. And if we go anything more than three miles, I suggest using a tanker to get there a little bit faster and more efficiently. Historically, you've had this on what tractor? Um, most of the time, we always had it on deers. Okay. What model deers? Do you we had uh, usually the biggest horsepower that they had for the row crop tractors. So we, had, we started off with a 8400, then we went up to an 8530, and then it was the 8370s. R's and then now we have an 8 art 370. Okay. So we're out here demoing the Fent 1042 today. So this is the 420 horse Fent. You've just got done running it across the field here. Tell us your initial initial thoughts. Well, it's it was a learning process, but I, after I got used to it, I was like it was simple. It was way more I guess you would call it um, user friendly. Uh, the fuel I was watching the fuel efficiency. It was, it was way better than I expected. The power was always there. I had very little slippage. Uh, as consistency, the quietness in it, there was more comfort. Everything I really, I liked it all around. It was just a, in general, a good tractor. So definitely fuel efficiencies there. What about the transmission? Tell us about what transmission but, you have in your old tractors. And then how's it compared to this? CD? The oldest one we had was a power shift with the 8400, but then when the IVTs came out, everybody was a little bit nervous about those, but we seemed to like them because there was a lot more variable rate to them. You can go down to point mile an hour speeds instead of and without throttle. I mean, you can keep the throttle. It's supposed to be more fuel efficient. Yes and no, but depends on what you're using it for. The IVT was probably the best transmission we had so far so but when I got into this one the I guess you would call it the smoothness of it of the when it shifted or it, did, it didn't really shift at all it just went to that gear where you needed to go you didn't know it was shifting at all uh, the quietness usually you can hear that transmission of the deer the hydraulics were whining I don't hear any of that at all with this tractor very nice so that cab's quiet you don't hear the transmission how would you compare like overall like engine transmission to, you know just that cab sound versus anything it's quiet very quiet i was like like i said the hydraulic noises you can hear that in any tractor you drive other than the fent i think i've been in cases i've been in fords or new hollands we don't call them now uh been in uh oh what other ones were there but anyways each one of those tractors you can hear that whining of the hydraulics and you yeah. know when they're kicked on when they're kicked off but this one nothing it's quiet it's kind of peaceful. <laughs> nice, very nice. Technology wise, so you had some rate controllers, you've got some different applications, and we had to, uh, Kyle came out here and got you all set up on that. Tell us a little bit about how, how seamless or, or how robust that was to, to get that done. Well, this is for the first time that they had put it on one of these wagons, so they, it was a little bit of a challenge getting started off, but once we got it, everything fine tuned in, it was flawless. It was, everything was going right to the right numbers. Uh, gallons to the acre, we're right on the money. The when we were going up and down through the ditches, it, it stayed consistent with it. Uh, so when we were slowing down to go to a ditch, the flow was staying with it. It didn't over over applicate or under applicate. Climbing the hill, it stayed with the flow and everything like that. So 
I was very impressed on that part too. Uh, the simplicity as, re as remotes, you can go and calibrate all the things where you can go one, two, three, four, five different things all at once. I can go and set my toolbar down, turn my, turn my auto steer on and run the pumps and mapping all in one, one push of a button. It's very simple. Very, very nice. So I spoke a little bit of fuel efficiency. RPMs of the tractor, that CVT transmission, can you speak a little bit about what you thought of, of that? That was actually one of the most impressive thing I had. I was talking to, we had another deer of our tractors out here before. It was, he said he felt wheel hop. This one did not wheel hop. And that was an 8370R or 8R370. The speed was about the same, but I think he, I think I was actually beating him by a mile or two mile an hour faster. Climbing the hills around here, they're pretty steep. Uh, what else can I say about it? But the just the smoothness of the shifting, you couldn't tell that it was shifting. That uh, torque, do you notice anything of the torque of the transmission, engine, you know, where it I, It felt like I was driving a car. It didn't feel like I had, like, without a trailer behind me. I was more worried about my tank than anything else, so. Nice. Very nice. Any other thoughts? I mean, what, so overall, what would you say about uh, from a deer guy jumping into a fin tractor here? I was like, you gotta try it. It's something different, but yeah, it's a learning curve, but it's it's a nice tractor. Very nice. Well, thank you, Jared. Appreciate it today. Yep. You ain't see me activated. You better hope that you never see me agitated. I think about my actions, plan them out, evaluated. That's how I end up on the top, man. I'm calculated. My mind's a weapon. My body is the engine. I'm never second guessing. I just do what I was destined. Cause I feel I got the blessing. Persistence and obsession. That's how you keep progressing. I already learned that lesson, yeah. Don't change it.